This is the BMW X7. It's a car for those with big families and fat wallets. Its main rivals are the Audi Q7 and the Mercedes-Benz GLS. And today, we're going to find out if this big German SUV is worth its 537,000 dirham price tag. Twelve years after Mercedes-Benz launched the GL and 14 years after Audi launched the Q7, BMW has finally decided to dip its feet into the full-size luxury SUV segment. The handsome X7 has been a long time coming, but from a design perspective, it doesn't disappoint. The most striking angle of the X7 is the front, where the huge double kidney grille makes up almost all of it. What's surprising is that while it looks horrendous in photos, it doesn't look half as bad in person and actually suits the size of the vehicle. More than just being big for the sake of being big, it's also quite intelligent. There's small flaps inside the grille that open and close automatically, either to help the engine cool down or improve aerodynamics. Now, I'm sure many of you are questioning why the headlights are so sleek and narrow while everything else seems to be oversized. And that's because BMW has used its latest laser light technology. Brighter than xenons and LEDs fitted to other cars in the market, these laser lights can illuminate objects up to 600 meters away. Just think about that. The beautiful color on our test car is referred to as carbon black metallic. It's a unique blend of black and navy blue. But if you don't quite fancy it, there are eight other color options that you can choose from. Since this car also receives the M Sport styling pack, it gets different bumpers, huge 22-inch alloy wheels, and all the chrome pieces such as on the roof rails and window lining have been converted to black. Overall, it's a handsome car, and it isn't just a stretched out X5 as many thought it would be. Now, before jumping into the details and telling you all about the interior of the X7, I'm sure there's many of you watching who are thinking, well, if I had a big family and a lot of money, I'd just buy a Range Rover. But you see, the X7 has two big things the Range Rover doesn't. Two extra seats. That's right, the X7 is a proper seven-seater SUV and a great one at that. Amazingly designed and put together exceptionally well, the cabin of the X7 is a great place to be. There's Alcantara on the headliner, soft leather on the seats, steering, dashboard and door panels, and there's also glass on the engine starter button, gear knob, iDrive controller and volume control knob. It's spectacular. You might be thinking that the X7 is just a namesake seven-seater SUV and that the last row isn't really usable by anyone who's more than four feet tall, but that isn't the case. Firstly, Accessing the last row is really easy and of course, it's a completely automated process. You simply press one button and the second row seats move out of the way, allowing you easy access to the third row. Once the second row seats move, then you have hidden controls near the wheel arch that bring the third row seats out of the floor. Once you're in the back, you'll be amazed by the amount of space in the third row. And when you start looking around, you'll notice cup holders on either side, Type-C USB chargers and a couple of cargo hooks too. Speaking of cargo, let's hop out and take a look at the boot. With the third row in use, boot space isn't great and measures in at just 340 litres. But simply press one button called Max Cargo and the X7 automatically folds the second and third row seats out of the way, opening up a huge van-like 2,560 litres of storage. If you're wondering how this matches up against its rivals, it's way, way more than the Audi Q7 and just a tiny bit less than the Mercedes-Benz GLS. Here in the second row, the X7 treats its passengers like royalty with plenty of headroom and legroom and even allows them to recline the seat for added comfort. There's privacy shades on either side, high-definition entertainment screens and super soft pillows on the headrest that I can almost guarantee are more comfortable than the ones you sleep on every night. Being the brand's flagship SUV, you'd expect the X7 to be armed with some insanely cool features. And it is. But before I tell you about those, let's brush over the regular features very quickly. 
It's got 20-way power adjustable seats with a long list of massage options. It's got a 12.3-inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's got a wireless charging mat and it's got soft closing doors for the ultimate luxury experience. Now, insanely cool feature number one. Many cars nowadays come equipped with a panoramic glass roof, but the one fitted to the BMW X7 is very different. BMW refers to it as the Sky Lounge, and essentially what they've done is that they've fitted microscopic LEDs inside the glass panel. In the daytime, it's completely clear, but after sunset, the entire roof illuminates in the color you've selected for the ambient lighting system. It's genius. Insanely cool feature number two. If you've ever parked your car in an extremely narrow space, then got out and asked yourself, how the hell am I going to get the car out of here? Then this feature is for you. The reverse assistant fitted on the X7 remembers the exact path you took to park the vehicle and automatically brings it out for you by completing the same set of steps in reverse order. Insanely cool feature number three. Many cars nowadays come equipped with a voice command system, but not all of them work very well. The one in the BMW X7 works every single time. And the best thing is that you don't need to memorize commands to communicate with it. You simply have a conversation. Here, let me demonstrate. Hi, BMW. Hello. What can I help you with? I'm feeling hot. Which temperature shall I set? 19 degrees. I set the temperature in the driver's area on 19 degrees Celsius. Insanely cool feature number four, heated and cooled cup holders. Yes, you heard that right. If you want to keep your cup of Karak Chai warm while your friend or partner wants to have their can of Pepsi freezing cold, then it's definitely possible with the X7's heated and cooled cup holders. Insanely cool feature number five. The BMW X7 is possibly the only car in the world to come with a five-zone climate control system. What does that mean? That means the driver, passenger, those in the second row and those in the third row have completely independent AC controls. They can set the fan speed and the temperature exactly how they like it without affecting anybody else. Now that I've highlighted some of the X7's party tricks, you're probably beginning to understand why it costs over half a million dirhams. The truth, however, is that its best feature is the way it drives. Although it's fitted with a 4.4-litre twin-turbo V8 that produces 462 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque, the X7 really isn't about speed or the numbers that it produces. It's all about luxury cruising with the family, and that it does magnificently. With double glazed glass and active noise cancellation technology, it's really quiet inside. And to take luxury to the next level, the suspension is extremely soft, almost like it's made from marshmallows, meaning you never really feel any bumps or uneven patches in the road. If you absolutely must push the X7 out of its comfort zone, it'll hit 100 kilometers per hour in 5.4 seconds and a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. Speaking of pushing the X7 out of its comfort zone, it also comes with four off-road modes, rock, sand, gravel, and snow, each of which make changes to the air suspension, the ECU, and the eight-speed automatic transmission. Being an urban-friendly SUV, the X7 is armed with three main driving aids, speed limiter, adaptive cruise control, and assisted driving. Simply put, the X7 can drive itself in slow-moving traffic at speeds of up to 65 km per hour. You take your hands off the steering wheel, your feet off the pedal, and the X7 will stay within the lane for you as well. It will accelerate, brake, do everything. If you face a lot of traffic, then you can already imagine what a saving grace this would be. But there is a catch. It will only do so if you're paying attention to the road and looking ahead. If you decide to start fiddling on your phone or play a game of Uno with your passenger, the X7 will tell you to take control and drive yourself. How does it know? Because there's cameras in the instrument cluster that are constantly watching your face and its movements. Mm-hmm, it's sci-fi stuff. 
The BMW X7 is the seventh SUV in the brand's lineup, and what an SUV it truly is. If I had to use just one word to describe it, I'd use innovative. And that's because the X7 pushes the boundaries of what we expect a car to be. It is indeed a flagship SUV and a great one at that. Well done, BMW.